Uh, well, we've uh, just arrived here at one of the helicopters. It's um, the first, second day out of lockdown, really. So we're going to fly in for a few days and see if we can't find some reds and maybe a chamois and um, see how it all goes. We've only got a couple of days. The weather was supposed to be beautiful, but it's a bit crap. We're just waiting for it to clear and then we'll be into it. So we'll just load up the gear now and get ready for when the weather comes right. Finally made it to the campsite for the next couple of days. We were stuck in the hangar for eight hours, <laughs> but um, we've made it in. We've got a clear gap in the weather. It's supposed to be fine now for the next couple of days. So we're just going to set up a base camp here, and then we'll hunt from here and walk along this ridge and just glass into these guts. I've already spotted a deer down in here. It looks like a hind, but um, yeah, we've been here five minutes, so. Uh, Quarter to five, we better crack into it before it gets dark and try and spot some animals for the morning. his fault but I'd agree with him. We uh, flew in and uh, we flew in minus a gun so uh, <laughs> thankfully Pete found it. We went to move some other hunters. He chucked it under the seat neither of us looked under there and uh, he's dropped some other guys off and then he's found the gun. I didn't even know, had no idea. Too busy setting the tent up and then uh, he lands and he points in the back seat and sure enough the trusty old ticket's sitting on the back seat. So uh, yeah. Good man, Pete, thanks. We probably need that, so we'll crack on and forget about that one. Sorted. We um, Pete dropped us in maybe an hour and a half ago, and uh, we shot up and had a quick look over the top, but the fog rolled in, so we come back and sort of camp out before it got dark and just lit the fire. And we're gonna get some dinner going, and uh, hopefully tomorrow it stays clear like this. It's turned out beautiful now as the evening's gone on. It's uh, all the fog's burnt off, and we're well above the clouds. So hopefully in the morning it there's uh, bugger all this fog around, so we can see. So. Pretty excited to have a look around tomorrow. Can't wait actually. Be bloody good. So we'll go get some dinner going and get settle in for the night. We've got heaps of dinner, but uh, we've just made this new oven, fault on oven and MIA accessory to go with your V2 wood stove. So just gonna have to play around, it's just a prototype at this stage, but we're gonna tweak it and eventually we'll have it out for sale. But um, there's just a slide out tray in here. Oh, it's hot, very, very hot. But um, that slides out, but we've only got a few pies, so we'll just chuck them on there. And uh, close that up. And the heat that's transferring straight through the firebox in maybe 20, 25 minutes, they should be nice and done and maybe a little snack if we're still hungry or we'll save for smoker tomorrow. Well it's the moment of truth. Gonna check out pies. 
who knows how long they've been in for. Oh, look at those. They look perfectly done. Shit, the bed. Look the tree. Hot. The cook. Not bad for Pam's. I'm just going to wait for him to turn back so he faces us so that if he runs, he hopefully runs towards us.
Zeg dan. spot and rolled down the hill of five meters max um, nice old stag definitely mature he's probably I wouldn't say super old but he'd be up six seven plus at least um, you can see on the front of his head here this is kind of tough they get this as they get a bit older goes a bit uh, curly almost he's lost a wee bit of condition he's not too bad um, Nice solid 10 pointer, he's broken one of his bays and uh, at this age he should have, if he was going to be a 12 he'd have 12 points by now so I could almost guarantee that next year he'd be a near identical head if not a little bit smaller so um, good one to take out, he's had the whole raw undisturbed, he's uh, been breeding with a whole heap of hinds which we just saw and um, yeah it's probably a good one to take out of the gene pool and We'll sort them out, take some meat off them, and uh, won't be the best eating meat for steaks and stuff like that, but it'd be great for sausages and salamis and stuff like that. So uh, we'll get stuck into it. It's going to be dark soon, and um, we had a wee bit of a climb out of here, so uh, we better crack on and get into it. And uh, we'll see you back at the hut, or at the tent, I should say. <laughs> it's like a hut. We'll get that fire cranking, and uh, she'll be bloody good. Maybe a shot of whiskey or two. stakes in his bag and I'm going to carry on back up to the top. Go grab we'll lift all our gear up on the ridge. We'll grab that, chuck it in our packs and then back to camp <laughs> for a whiskey and maybe some savouries for tea. <laughs> Bloody good. Get into it. Day two, well, yeah, day two, our first, our second full day, so we've uh, got up. It's a beautiful morning, no fog like yesterday. A little bit of really low cloud, but we're sweet up above it, so uh, just gonna shoot back up to that little knoll we were on yesterday morning. It's a good glassing point, and just have a glass around and see what's around. We haven't got, we've only got to about two o'clock this afternoon before um, Pete's coming back, so uh, we better get up there and have a quick look quick look around and just see if we can't spot something and it would be nice to take a meat animal home if we can find one otherwise uh, yeah all good we'll see, see what happens Watch class. 
Let's just keep an eye on the deer. Get over there and then, then we'll be into them. So get on with them. Oh, well, that one didn't work out. We um, snuck our way around the space here, cycling up higher. Whether they got our wind or heard us, I'm not sure, but as you can see, they're off. Probably could have a shot at them from here, but she's a long way down, so we might leave them. And uh, we saw some spikers in the next gully. We might push around there and see if they're still in there. And hopefully, we can get a shot at one of them. All right. Well, we uh, come back into this next gully where we thought the spikers would be, and unfortunately, they're not there. So we've missed out on a bit of meat, but. Um, it's been a good trip all the same, we got plenty of meat off that stag last night, so we won't be going hungry, but um, it would have been nice to get another meat animal, but we've got about a two hour walk back to camp now, so we'll uh, carry on pushing up to the top and get on the track and head back, and we've got to pick up from Pete at Wanaka Helicopters at about two or three o'clock, so go pack up the tent, get all our gear ready, and uh, on to the next one, so pretty good. Spied these group of deer sitting down on the on this little terrace. So we carried on down and snuck up and we had a good good clear shot. So I decided to take her for a bit of meat to come home with. That's my first animal, so pretty happy that I got a clean shot and it was a pretty quick quick job. Um, yeah, pretty stoked. Awesome. Pretty stoked. Yeah, it was a perfect shot. Oh went down the hind, just went down the hill a wee bit, made our carry a little bit tougher, but uh, it's all good, it's good to find her, nice clean shot on the shoulder, so uh, we'll get her butchered and um, we've got, helicopter's going to be here in two and a half hours, so we better get to work and get back to camp because we've still got to pack camp up, but uh, Alex done a pulled off a great shot, first deer, so um, yeah, congrats mate, awesome, let's get into it. We've uh, made it back to camp, it's 20 to 2, we've got to pick up at 3, so um, we've got to get our, pack up all our stuff, pack up the tent, sort our meat out and get ready for Pete, and um, that'll be the end of another good short trip. It's only a couple of days on the hill, but we got a bit done and freezers are full, and uh, yeah, on to the next one, pretty good. <laughs> 